Mold has been found in more than a dozen classrooms. Now at least one school is closed for at least a week. Nabil Ramadna takes us inside one of the classrooms and shows us what the school district is doing and the impact it has on students. These uh, industrial dryers right here uh, really do the trick. Fans line the hallway at Hemp Hill Elementary School in Hayes County. We're coming up on the, the classroom that had the concern, uh, this room 184 right here. Uh, they have it sealed off with the plastic. School shutting down until at least November 9th after mold was found in 13 classrooms. That's one of the rooms affected along this hallway. A teacher in one room smelled mold and that prompted the district to check things out. Tim Savoy says once they confirmed it, they took immediate action. What they've been doing in there is they've been covering everything up in preparation, I think, to really go into those walls and get the mold out. No kids were at school this week, and after they found the mold, they decided to cancel school until they get it all taken care of. The mold found inside the walls, Aspergillus penicillium, which can affect people with weakened immune systems or cause allergies, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Any type of mold can cause allergies. It can be um, bad for someone with a compromised immune system, so you don't want it in your building. Now the district is working to get the mold out and the kids and teachers back in the classrooms. We're fortunate that this type of mold that's here according to the CDC, is not the most serious kind because you can get into some molds that are that are really serious. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. Now, as for the students, they'll have access to a grab-and-go meal service on weekdays, which will be similar to what the district did when all schools were closed during the COVID-19 pandemic.